Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we're in the state of Oklahoma. We're in the city of Oklahoma City. And we're going to be doing a driving tour of a neighborhood called Deep Deuce. It's 54 degrees out right now, and we're currently in Deep Deuce. I'm going to make this right-hand turn, if possible. I'm going to make sure. Yeah, it's a two-way street. We're at North Walnut. We just turned on Northeast 3rd Street. Gonna explore the area, see what it looks like. Looks like we have a large, somewhat of a, like a luxury apartment over here on my left-hand side. On my right-hand side, looks like we have what could be home dwellings, possibly apartments. There's a building for sale on my right-hand side. The address is 109 Northeast 3rd Street, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. In case y'all want to see how much they're selling that building for check out this structure on my right what an awesome structure to have in a neighborhood it looks cool it looks like we're around tons and tons of potential apartments we got a banner on my left hand side that reads downtown okc deep deuce historic jazz district so we're going to continue traveling forward We just passed the intersection of Northeast 3rd Street in Oklahoma. We got three window wide, three story tall full buildings on my left hand side and on my right hand side. Porches on my right hand side on the second and third floor. These buildings appear to be freshly done. The bricks are in excellent shape. The pointing is in excellent shape, telling me that it's possibly um, a recent project, maybe within the last 20 years or so. Look at the skyline on my left hand side. You see how there's the skyline on my left hand side? You have the whole entire city line. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me try to maneuver it a little bit more so you can see. You see? So Deep Deuce is right next to the city, the downtown area. I'm going to take this back way because if we go any more forward, it's going to take us out of the neighborhood. It's going to take us to NEK Gaylord Boulevard. When you hit that boulevard, you're out of the neighborhood, so we want to try to stay within the neighborhood. We got what seems to be a little block back here, y'all. Let's explore it. Comes up on the map as an actual block, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we're on Blackeny Place. B-L-A-K-E-N-E-Y. We got garages on my right-hand side. We got... First, second, third, and fourth floor balconies on my left-hand side. This has to be an apartment building on my left-hand side. There's a sign on my right-hand side that reads, Lots Available. Custom Build Maywood Lots. We're back at Oklahoma Ave. All right, we're going to make this left-hand turn. Let's go to 4th Street. We're coming on to Oklahoma Ave. We're about to hit 4th Street. We got a parking garage on my right-hand side for the Maywood. And we got more of the Maywood on my left-hand side. <clears throat> right now, we're currently at Oklahoma and 4th. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn on 4th. We got a Conoco gas station on my left-hand side. We're on the 100 block of 4th. We got parking spots on my right hand side you see parallel parking they got the lines on the ground there's a beautiful building next to me it's definitely an apartment building because you can see all the meters right here on my right hand side you see all those meters <clears throat> all right i'm gonna make this right hand turn <clears throat> on north 500 walnut ave we're at fourth and walnut We got Black Walnut on my right hand side. We got La Baguette on my right hand side. It says La Baguette, Deep Deuce. So they named their business after the neighborhood. You got Ryan Whaley attorneys on our left. We're passing North Third Street, Northeast Third Street. That's the block that we went down when we first started. We're gonna take it down one more block. We have Calvary Baptist Church on my left-hand side. We're now at the intersection of 2nd and Walnut. Okay, this is a two-way street. 
We're on the 300 block of Walnut Ave. Let's make this right hand turn. We got the WXYZ Lounge on my left hand side. That's that modern looking building. And we got another modern building on my right. I believe that's the continuation of the luxury apartments. Looks like we have some sort of eatery on my right hand side because they got the outdoor dining benches. It's called Bar. Uh, how do you say that? Cicetti or Cicchetti? I'm not sure if it's an Italian pronunciation. We got Bone, Dog, Boutique, and Self-Serve Dog Wash on my left. That's cool that it's a self-serve. I've never heard of a self-serve uh, dog wash. I've heard of self-serve car washers. We got a nice, uh, what looked to be like a sitting area on my left. All those shipping containers were painted really nice. It looks like there's a possible a bar up there. I'm going to try to go around the block to give you guys a second look. There's a car behind me. I'm traveling a whopping 19 miles an hour. I'm going to make this right-hand turn on NEK Gaylord Boulevard. This is the boulevard that I told you guys that if you go down it, you end up out of the neighborhood. We got a nice mural on my right-hand side of a train. It's of an old-school train with people, I guess, boarding the train and waving away from people that are waiting for them. All right, I'm going to make this right-hand turn. All right, we're back on North, what's this, Northwest 3rd Street. <clears throat> we got Rudy's Auto Shop on my right-hand side, Automotive Service and Collision Repair. That's that alley we went through on my left-hand side. We're going to continue traveling forward, and then we're going to make a right so I can show you guys the, that shipping container uh, hangout spot that they got going on there. There's benches outside on my right-hand side. Look at the sidewalks. There's sidewalks on both sides, and... There's brick accent on the sidewalks, which is excellent. This block's really nice right here. And I like the three window wide buildings. I don't see that in many uh, areas. A place that I know that has a lot of three window wide buildings is Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland has a lot of three window wide buildings. Three story, three windows wide. Many of them are abandoned. All right, these look like apartments on my left and on my right side. It's just a continuation. The mosaic or mosaic. Level company now leasing. We're at Northeast Second Street on the 100 block of Northeast Second Street. On my right hand side, you'll see those two shipping containers. They have the Bell Kitchen, they have the Wheeze, the Juice, they have Anchor Down, Stowaway, and Scott Group LLC. So those are little offices that they have inside of the shipping containers that are painted red right there with numbers and all that stuff. So they decided to use shipping containers and turn it into cafes and offices. That's interesting, right? So we're back on this block with the modern buildings. We're going to make a right-hand turn when we get to the corner. We're going to make this right-hand turn. No, matter of fact, let's, let's take it up because right-hand turn is going to take us out of the neighborhood. We're passing Walnut Ave. We got more red brick homes on my right-hand side. We passed Cowrie Church on our left-hand side. Took up these red brick buildings. They're units. So again, another apartment situation on my right hand side. On my left, it looks like the same thing. Yup, more, more units. Building 223. Building on my right is 224. We got Florida license plate on my right hand side. We got Stag whiskey and cigars and all that stuff on my right. It's a business called Stag. S T A G. Stag. All right, we are going to... Let's make this right. We can make a right here because the neighborhood widens up a bit. There's signs right there on my left that read Deep Deuce. There's more signs coming up. Deep Deuce. We got outdoor dining space on my right-hand side. Coming soon, Lux Bar and Lounge. We got a vehicle behind us. I'm traveling 11 miles an hour. Punch buggy, no punch back. Punch whoever next to you. Your mother, your brother, your father, your sister, your niece, your nephew. We have a beetle on my left-hand side. We're at First Street, First and Central Ave. I'm going to make this left. Matter of fact, let's go right because this looks like a no outlet. And being that it's a no outlet, I can show you this area and then make a U-turn. We got the Wedge Pizzeria on my left-hand side. Right here at this cor this gorgeous chunk of, of no outlet space because you got the downtown view right there. This is a nice place to eat pizza. Think about it. You come out here, boom, you stare at the city. 
That's the pizzeria right there on my right hand side. There's an e-scooter sitting out there. I wonder if somebody from work that worked there used that scooter to, to get around, you know, to get to work and get back. Right? There's another scooter sitting right here. Either that or maybe customers. They want a slice of pizza, you know? They ride a scooter there. Alright, we're at first and North Central Ave. We have a couple on my left hand side that is walking their dog. We passed building 305. Right now we're on Northeast First Street. Again, another banner on my left. You see it on the pole? I'm going to slow down in case you guys couldn't get a chance to take it in. Downtown OKC Deep Deuce Historic Jazz District. So Deep Deuce is a hip downtown area with a vibrant nightlife scene that includes whiskey bars, cocktail lounges, and jazz and blues venues that hark back to the 1920s when the area was an African American or African American cultural hub. Dining options in the neighborhood range from upscale new American menus to creative takes on comfort food, including bar snacks, gourmet, and hot dogs and stuff like that. All right, so let's make, I would say, a, a, well, we got a little no outlet in front of us too. If we go right, we'll hit a no outlet. So let's, what I like to do is get the no outlets out of the way. If we go right, we're gonna exit the neighborhood. It's gonna take us to East Main Street. East Main Street is outside of the neighborhood's boundaries. So we're entering something called The Hill. Look on my left, look on my right. There's two uh, pillars that read The Hill. That's why I said I believe this is a no outlet community in front of us, but check it out. Beautiful grass, beautiful sidewalks, beautiful red bricks, different color bricks, tan bricks, dark red bricks, burgundy bricks, different styles of brick homes. This looks like it could be homes. These are homes. This is, on my right, homes. On my left, a little bit questionable. Those are homes also. One ring doorbell, one door, one key, one, um, one of everything. One mailbox. You don't see multiple like you would in like an apartment complex. We got a pool on my left-hand side, guys. Wow, they have their own pool back here. Go figure. Sheesh, Luis. Oh, we're next to Town Hall, the hill at Bricktown. Wow. So the neighborhood Deep Deuce is right next to another neighborhood called Bricktown. It's nearby. So Town Hall, the hill at Bricktown, established in 2006. See, established in 2006. That tells me that this whole little complex could have probably been made around 2006. And if you would tell me that, or if it was made in the early 2000s, I would believe it because the bricks are relatively fresh. They're, they're clean. They're not stained. They're not faded. Yo, y'all want to go down through the back of their personal driveway? Come on. Private driveway. Residence only. Oops. My bad. I'm a resident for right now. Check it out. They got garages on both sides. Garages on the left. Garages on the right. You can see that they're like second story. It's the two on my left hand side are three story. So two story, three story buildings. The garages are really wide. You got the range runoff. See the little sewage runoff lines. It's a dead end behind us. There's two garages facing a wall. I see the Hyatt place right here in front of us. We got sewage runoff right here on my right hand side. Warning, permit parking only unauthorized vehicles will be towed at owner's expense. Yeah, these are nice buildings. Now, the thing is, they're a bit uniform. They are a bit uni uniform. They're like, you pretty much, your house looks like your neighbor's house down the block. You guys, if you don't know how I feel about that, I like a little bit of, of originality in a sense. But it is nice. Is it nice? Yes. It's a nice little area they got going on back here. They got a pool right here on, on my right. We're on North Geary Circle. It's amazing that they got their own little pool back here. We're approaching North Ellison Ave. They got the balconies on the second floor, which is cool. It looks like they might be making more back here. Look at that. They're probably going to continue selling space to get more residents to fit into this little community. Because this, look at it looks like they're starting to, wow, look at, look at the whole entire backside. See? 
They're starting to do plumbing. Yup, they ran the plumbing, guys. That's actually plumbing and stuff. Wow, they already ran. What's that? Gas lines and plumbing, probably. That goes to show you, which means in the future, these people are going to have more neighbors. It's incredible, right? Right now, we're back on North Geary Ave. I'm going to make this right-hand turn to show you a little bit more of this community that's back here because it is in the neighborhood. we got a house for sale on my left. If you guys want to know what this neighborhood's going for, the address is 213 North Geary Ave, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma State. I think we just came from back here, but y'all didn't get a chance to see this side. So I'm going to show you all the houses. Even though they look pretty much the same, Y'all can take a look at it. We got a Porsche. There we got a little Benz on my right. You got another Benz on my left. So that tells you the people that's that's living back here, you know? It gives you an idea of their uh, financial bracket. All right, so let's uh, go down Ellison Ave. Take this right-hand turn. We already went right. We don't want to go right again. So let's go right, right here on 1st Street. We got a Range Rover. We got a Buick and we got a Toyota. Toyota. We got an Acura. Let's make this right-hand turn again. And I believe there's one more block coming up that we have not covered yet. And then we can exit this little property. So we're passing, we're approaching, I should say, Northeast Second Street. We just passed First Terrace. Northeast First Terrace. Now we're passing Northeast Second Street. All right. So back here, it looks to be. Look at look at this um wall of leaves on my left hand side. Check out the building on my right hand side. Now that looks huge. I'm pondering: are these apartments on this end? Are some of them apartments? Some of them not? No, it's still one doorbell and one of everything. <laughs> one of everything in the front. So those are homes, too. They're pretty big homes. They're pretty big row homes. And row home standards, they're pretty big. Now let's bust this U-turn because we don't want to continue up there. Over there, it looks like it's part of their whole uh, contracting site. On my left, you can see the buildings from afar. So surprisingly, these are in row home format. This is row homes right here. These are row homes. They're They're... They're not tra traditional like Philadelphia's traditional row homes, but they are still row homes. They're taller, and they appear wider. Passing North Geary Ave. Now, Philadelphia got some, some big row homes in certain areas of the city. Certain areas and prominent areas, there are big and wide row homes, but the traditional row home in Philadelphia isn't that big. We just exited the hill. I'm going to make this right-hand turn. Matter of fact... Right hand turn, right hand turn, right hand turn. Let's go straight because we never went down this block right here. I don't want to pass this, this block and forget it. We're at Russell and Perry Ave and Northeast 2nd Street. We got the Deep Deuce Grill on my right hand side. We got the Deep Deuce, what is this, a downtown center? An information center, yeah. I guess if you want to learn more about the neighborhood and all of the activities and engagements and stuff they got going on. We're at 2nd and Central Ave. All right, so we already went through the block in front of us. Let's make this right. We came from the block in front of us. That was with the Aloft Hotel. We got some private parking on my right-hand side, back gate entrance. You need a key code to get in. Either that or a key fob that'll probably click it open. Maybe they give residents a key fob. We're at Northeast 3rd Street. I'm going to make this right-hand turn on Northeast 3rd Street. All right, out of all these new buildings that we've seen, 
this is the first, not only original building that we've seen, but it looks to be abandoned building. I know the sun isn't doing us justice. Sorry about that, guys. There's a building right here on my right hand side in the heart. All right, I think I can get a better view right here because there's no sun. I'm just going to pull right into their driveway. This one. You see this one? This is probably the most original home that I've seen in the neighborhood and only abandoned one I've seen in the neighborhood. The address would be, if I am correct, according to my calculations, I believe it says 804 Northeast 3rd Street, Oklahoma City. 804. I could barely make out the address. It looks like an 804. I'm going to find out if we're on the 800 block shortly. Because I can tell by the other addresses. Most of these don't even have addresses. They have... Um, building numbers we're next to building 312 then we're next to building 311 because these apartments over here but that was one of the only abandoned and original buildings i've seen because most of these buildings all look modern it's almost like this whole community was made in the early 2000s i wonder if this was one of those areas that was gentrified that back in the day was was probably like rough was probably like the hood and they ended up you know displacing the original residents another beetle on my left hand side punch buggy no punch back you see that? But yeah, that's incredible. All right, let's make this left hand turn. All right, on my left hand side, in front of us, obviously, it's grass and all that stuff. On my left hand side, not only do I see grass, but I see a red brick sidewalk with the grass. I've never seen that combination. I've always seen. Brick sidewalks. I've always seen cement sidewalks. I've always seen cement sidewalks with grass on the side. I've never really seen a little pathway of brick sidewalks with grass on the side. And those are like ruby red rich bricks in color. And then the grass is, is well mean, maintained for the most part. On our right, you can head to Interstate Oklahoma 235 South. We're at Russell and Perry Ave and 4th Street. I'm going to make this left-hand turn on 4th Street. So this is the border. If we would have went right, that would have took us out of the neighborhood. We're within the border. We literally cover most of the neighborhood. It's a small neighborhood. Look at the buildings on my right. Again, this looks like a very, very recently constructed neighborhood. All the architecture is, is modern. We got block 42 on my right. Oh, we was at um, three. The address was, so it wasn't, what what I say? Uh, look, remember I was confused about the address? That was the 300 block. So whatever two numbers I said at the end, put a three in front of it. It's not eight. It wasn't the 800 block. It was the 300 block. That's probably why the apartment building said three. All right, guys. We literally, based on what the map showing, we basically spun the whole neighborhood. I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to take us down to the end of the road. And we can probably come back around Northeast Gaylord Boulevard. But this one's well outlined. We're within the deep deuce perimeter. It is about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. About 14 to 15 blocks large. We got the gray sweater building on my left-hand side. We got some land surveyors on my right hand side about to do some elevation checking and stuff we have a female next to the 22 bus stop on my right hand side we're at the 400 block of oklahoma ave we got the conoco or conoco gas station on my right hand side and again large apartment buildings large dwellings cramming in 100 200 individuals to a square block Gas is going for $3.14 per gallon. All right, guys. Let me see. I took you guys back there. I took you all through there. If we go straight, we got one more block straight. There's a park right here. Edward L. Gaylord. Downtown YMCA. It's right here on my right-hand side. There's like a green space and everything connected to it. And then you got downtown right here, which is very interesting. 
That means if you move to that deuce neighborhood, uh, that means that you have access to downtown within walking distance. The deep deuce. All right, we're at Broadway Ave. Let's make this left hand turn so we can spin the block. We covered all three main arteries that run through the neighborhood, 2nd Street, 3rd Street, and 4th Street. The cross reference blocks are Oklahoma Ave, Walnut Ave, North Central Ave, Russell and Perry, that's it, and then North Geary. We literally covered a high percentage of this neighborhood. And that doesn't happen often. For those of you who know, you know, sometimes within an hour, you can't cover a whole neighborhood. Within a half an hour, we were able to conquer that little neighborhood, which I, I like to keep it that way. I wish I could keep all my tours that uniform, but sometimes some neighborhoods aren't that defined. Check out the, the brick road. Look, we on a brick road, and then it switches up. Boom. Then we got a little uh, sitting area on my right-hand side, a park, where you can sit out there. There's some benches. It got some nice OKC um, artwork on it. We're going to stop here at Dean A. McGee. Avenue, the 100 block, Chase Bank on my right-hand side, and I believe this is going to conclude our short tour of the Deep Deuce neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you guys all for watching. Let me know what you think, and let me know what are your thoughts on the neighborhood. Would you live there? Would you not want to live there? Why? What do you like about the neighborhood? What don't you like about the neighborhood? Why? Consider smashing that thumbs, but thumbs up button and turning on your notification bell. I really appreciate the support. This is your homeboy, Toon. Mr. Toon Dallas, Sir Toon215, your unofficial tour guide, Mr. Toon B, chilling, and I'm tuning out.